This week on Maker Update, Bluetooth controlled scooter lights, 3D printed neck wounds, chilled fog, a DIY magic eight ball, an enchanted book of spells, and a tiny instant pie camera. Hey, I'm Donald Bell and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope everyone's doing great. Maker Faire New York was a lot of fun, but I'm happy to be back. I have a big show for you today with a lot of Halloween projects, but first let's get started with the project of the week. Becky Stern made this awesome Bluetooth controlled ground effect lighting for her Vespa. The project uses an Adafruit Blue Fruit Feather Board, two strips of addressable LEDs, a small lithium rechargeable battery pack, and strong magnets to mount the enclosure and lights under the ride. To recharge it, you just pull the whole thing off and slap it back on when you're done. Becky walks you through the soldering and the coating and an important aspect of this project, which is the weatherproofing. And even if you don't have a cool scooter like Becky, you can adapt this project for your bike, your go-kart, maybe even a baby stroller. There's a lot of ways you can take this. I have a lot of other projects to share, mostly Halloween stuff. Penelope Bolnick has been on a roll lately. Her latest is this 3D printed set of chokers and bracelets that look like a bloody cut or a Frankenstein stitch. It's a quick print. A cheap clasp on the back allows you to take it on and off. Good for a last minute costume idea. Wicked Makers has a great guide up on making this fog chiller. It's an enclosure that cools down your fog machine fog so that it hugs the ground and looks a little more spooky. I've seen a lot of variations on this, but the guide here is well done. The video is nice and the photos, plus the addition of the skull on the fog output is a great touch. There are two new Halloween projects up on Adafruit. One is this guide by John Park on turning the board into a high-tech magic eight ball. The board is mounted in a 3D printed enclosure on top of a globe of food coloring and pearl dust. Shaking the whole thing triggers the accelerometer on the board and randomly pulls up an animated answer on the screen. John includes a bunch of example answers in the code, but you can also make your own. And unlike a typical eight ball, you're not limited to a small set of answers, so you can go wild with the options. For a different take on the Halloween, the Ruiz brothers made this Necronomicon looking prop book where the Halloween is embedded in the cover. 90% of this is creating a believable enchanted book prop from an old cookbook. The guide shows you how to paint it, drill it, and decorate it, leaving space for the Halloween on the inside flap. Finally, for a neat non-Halloween project that caught my attention this week, check out the Pola Pi Zero by Muff. This project is on Hackaday with code hosted on GitHub. It's a fresh spin on a Polaroid style camera that prints out on a thermal receipt printer. What's cool about this one is how compact it is. Part of that's because it's using a Pi Zero instead of a full Pi. It's also using a nano sized thermal printer, which led me to learn that Adafruit sizing of thermal printers goes from mini to tiny to nano. The case for this has a nice design too. I have some tips to share with you over on MakeZine. Gareth Branwin's Tips of the Week column includes a great one from John Park showing how to restore the color of old plastic with hydrogen peroxide hair cream. He used the technique on an old grimy Nintendo Game Boy. Over on Thingiverse, I found this 3D printed painter's tape cutter from Opery that you can just loop around your tape roll. It comes in two sizes. I printed both out and they really do make a nice addition to masking tape and keep the end of the tape off the roll. The cutter isn't sharp enough for duct tape or gaffer tape though. Also on Thingiverse, Dagizmo made this cool multi-part gearbox that takes a hex key chucked into a power drill and translates it into a number two gear shaft with a 60 to one gear reduction. Over on Adafruit, Jan Goolsby made this great guide on designing and building a custom panel for your project enclosure. On Cool Tools, I have a video up comparing different types and sizes of trauma shears or medical shears. If you work with zip ties, these are one of the safest, most efficient ways to cut them off in my experience. Issue 74 of the Magpie Magazine is out and available for a free download. The main feature of this issue is building your own Raspberry Pi laptop. And the new issue of Make Magazine is also out and available on newsstands. This issue has a great feature on Little Bits creator Aya Badir and the evolution of Little Bits. Check it out. Maker Fairs. We have a bunch of Maker Fairs this weekend, including San Diego, California, Nashville, Tennessee, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Boston, Massachusetts, Hartford, Connecticut, Rockland, California, Gerolstein, Germany, Live Ukraine, and Columbia, Maryland. Also, I'll be giving a talk on new features in Tinkercad at the East Bay Mini Maker Fair in Oakland, California on Sunday, October 21st. If you're in the area, 
come out and say hello. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, get on the Maker Update email list to get show notes emailed out to you automatically every week. And I volunteer to do this show every week because I love doing it and because hopefully it's a valuable resource to makers like you. Now you can become a patron of this show for as little as 25 cents a show. I'll leave a link to the Patreon page down here in the description. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.